What's going on, Fishaholics? So we're kicking off the summer out here in Montauk, and uh, we're heading to the Falls Bar. We're gonna try and catch, surprisingly, some bluefish, which I don't really say that too often, you know, that I'm gonna go target bluefish, but we're doing something a little different today. We're leaving the surf casting rod in the car, and we're breaking out the 10 weight sage, Islander fly reel, and we're gonna, be, we're gonna try and catch them on the fly. I got a few last night on the fly, and I don't know, here's a little closer look at my 100 pound leader all chewed up, and that's the fly that I was using. So hopefully I can get into uh, some bigger fish maybe this morning. Yesterday evening the fish were all like five, six pounds. Still fun as hell, they were crazy. But nothing would be better probably, you know, than like a 12 pounder or like a 15 pound blue on the fly rod. Tide seems to be pretty far out, pretty low, or it is low tide. Looks like we got some current going, going this way. So actually the tide's just about starting to flood. There should be some big gator blues pushing up, looking for something to eat. That's where I'm gonna throw my little fly here. I'm not entirely sure what the name of this fly is, but it was working yesterday. So let's try it this morning. I got a bunch of other flies to try if this doesn't uh, get the job done. And uh, I'm using a sinking fly line and my whole leader setup here is kind of strange or probably kind of different, but I got a like three to four foot section of 60 pound fluorocarbon. And then I have that uni knot tied to about a, you know, a foot section of a hundred pound mono. And, uh, you know, that's probably a good basic uh, bluefish, you know, fly fishing leader. You know, it looks pretty clear in the water. You know, if I'm lucky, maybe I'll get a striper if uh, there's a, you know, if there's a starving striper sitting around somewhere. But uh, for the most part, I'm thinking I'm probably only gonna get most of my bites from bluefish. My goal for this season is to really fish the fly rod hard. And, uh, you know, how nice it would be to catch a 20 pound blue on the fly rod. That's not my main focus. My main focus is trying to catch at least a 20 pound bass on the fly rod, whether I'm in the surf on the south side or, you know, the north side, fishing some back, har uh, you know, back harbor areas. That's like my main goal is to try and get a 20 pound bass on the fly. And then of course, you know, a 50 pound bass on regular conventional tackle and, uh, you know, a 10 pound fluke, just like every other angler's goals. No bites yet. Whew, man, my hand was uh, stiffening up from casting a lot. Yesterday, you know, uh, yesterday evening, the tide was a little bit different. It was a little bit higher. So I'm thinking maybe the tide is a little too low just yet. So I'm going to give it a little while. And maybe once it gets a little higher, then I'll have a better shot. Some fish will probably move in a little bit closer. Some fish might be over here, a little bit further to the left where I first started fishing. It's a little shallower over here. And it's early in the morning. And a lot of times the bluefish will come up in here and they'll be tailing, pushing bait up into this cove. Oh, there was a blow up right there. Yes. All right. First strike, first strike. Got to get back out, back out there quick. That's what I wanted to see right there. Looks like a bluefish. Could have actually been a striper, but the fish missed the fly. Good to see some life. I was getting really discouraged. I wasn't getting any strikes, no bites. There he is, fish on. That guy crushed it. I don't know what this is though, it's not a blue. 
It's not a gator blue. That's for sure. This might be a striper. No freaking way it's a bass. It is a striper. Go figure, I, I come out here looking for gator blues on the fly. And with a 100 pound test leader, <laughs> I hook into a striper. I'll take it though, I'll take it. Nice little schoolie bass. First Montauk bass of the season for me, and on the fly, and from the surf. Pretty awesome little catch right there. I'll totally take that. blow up I had a little earlier was probably a small schooly bass too, now that I'm thinking about it. The tide is taking forever to really get going, so that's why the blues probably aren't biting. So I was here earlier in the morning, only caught that one striper. Different, you know, time of day, same tide, different conditions. The southwest wind picked up a little bit. It's blowing about 15, 20 southwest. Let's see if these different conditions can produce more fish. Uh, I'm actually seeing birds diving down there. But yesterday I was catching fish here, so I'm going to give it a quick, you know, run through right here. And then maybe, you know, jump down that away. Just because there's bait there doesn't mean, you know, that's only where the fish are. That's the cast right there, if there's a fish there. Oh, ho, ho. yes, I called that, man. I called that, I have fish right in front of me. There he is, fish on. I don't think it's a gator, but it's definitely something to break the ice. And I got a, you know, good little surface action there. This guy exploded on it. Spitting up sand eels. All right, not bad. About a five pounder, maybe four pounds, you know, not a giant. And he does not want to let go of that fly, and I don't even have a barb on the fly. See you later, bud. All right, let's get after that gator. So I'm stripping the fly. Oh, there he is. That guy didn't blow up on it. He hit it under the surface. Just casting alone tires your arms out and then you, know, you catch in these blues and they come off like that or you get them in your, oh geez. Man, it wasn't a giant so I'm not too worried about it. Nice cast right out there. I'm in the strike zone. Just gotta hope that a blue is swimming by while my fly's going by. I wanna get one to blow up on it ballistically. That's what I really wanna see. Oh, oh, or just hit it like that. This guy's ripping. <laughs> this guy is ripping. And I'm almost swallowed over. It's funny, they're not like 
really exploding on it. Easy, buddy. Easy. Crazy bluefish. Okay. Nice little eater blue. Looking for his big brother. But I'll take him. All right, I think that's all I got. It seems like as soon as the sun set, the fish moved off, maybe the bait moved off. But, you know, I haven't had any bites, haven't had any follows, haven't had any strikes. You know, no matter how fast or slow I move the fly. And uh, that just goes to show you, you know, timing is everything. As soon as I got here, the fish were, you know, biting the heck out of this fly, biting their tails off. And, uh, you know, it was about a 30 minute bite. That's how long, uh, you know, it took for me to get three fish on and land two. And, you know, that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Never forget, live to fish, fish to live. And I'll see you guys on the water.